And President Trump made comments on Thursday about the use of disinfectants, suggesting there's a way to inject people with cleaning products to kill the virus. It's been making headlines today. Lysol issued a statement that their products should not be administered into the human body. We should also mention in the last few hours, the White House press secretary also said the president's comments were taken out of context. Taken out of context or not, people do listen to the president. Can you speak on this? Sure. Well, I I think the most important thing is to remember what the facts are. Um, It's important that no one ingest, inject, or consume in any way detergents, disinfectants, uh, and, and, and these types of products. I mean, that's that's really what the fact is. From a medical standpoint, it could be not only be harmful, but it could be downright deadly. Uh, this is very, very important that you do not consume uh, or sort of take into your body these disinfectants. I, I think it's always important to read the labels of the products and use them for only what they are intended to be used for. And I also say, you know, if you have any questions about anything, you should be calling your doctor. New information this week that coronavirus appears to be causing strokes for people in their 30s and 40s. Dr. Cottle, another disturbing report as we learn more about this pandemic. Why is this happening? Yeah, the, the, the why and is something we, we don't have the answer to right now. But what we're finding out is literally every week goes by. You know, months ago when you you and I were talking about this in the early stages of coronavirus here in the country, we were talking about the fever, shortness of breath, and cough as being the hallmark symptoms. Now, that's still the case for, for adults. However, we've expanded this range of symptoms. Uh, patients can have diarrhea. We've learned that many patients have loss of taste or smell. Uh, many may have neurological symptoms, seizures, confusion, uh, things like that. And, and now we're also hearing hearing about blood clots, not only the, the heart, lungs, but other organs and possibly the blood vessels. Um, you know, th- th- these symptoms are, um, are, we're learning more and more about them. And, and hopefully as this ha- happens, we get more case reports and more studies. We will understand the mechanisms and, and how the body is actually responding to the virus. There's just a lot we, we still have yet to learn. We always appreciate your insight and expertise. Dr. Jen Cottle, family physician, thank you for being on, doctor.